grandfather Pelops, winner of the famous chariot race against Odia Mouse. It's a pity you didn't end your life on the gods' tablecloth before begetting Atreus, my father, who subsequently, in Iropay's bed, sired Agamemnon and me. Menelaus! International superstars, both of us. <laughs> of course, I mean, that goes without saying. In fact, I say this without boasting. I think I commanded by far the larger part of the Greek force that sailed to Troy. It isn't possibly precise about numbers. <laughs> Some of them, of course, are dead now. But others, most fortunately, have survived the sea voyage and made their way back home. I, on the other hand, ever since I sacked the towers of Troy, have suffered appallingly. The gods apparently think me unworthy. I must have landed on every single desolate beach in Africa by now. And now, to crown it all, I'm bloody shipwrecked. <laughs> Many of my friends are drowned. I'm landed, well, here, wherever it is. My ship hit the rocks, was smashed into a thousand pieces. I haven't the slightest idea what this country is called, what sort of place it is, or who lives here. I was afraid to ask, dressed like this. <laughs> when one looks such a mess, one ought to try and stay decently out of sight. <laughs> a chap like me, the very best family, proud of his breeding, feels poverty far more than the poor do. <laughs> <laughs> They're used to it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I, I think the woman that started the trouble in the cleft of a cave, deep in a rock, and told my shipmates, the ones who survived, to keep a very close eye on her there. I came on ahead, scouting, to see if I could somehow find the necessities my poor mates needs. When I saw this palace, complete with battlemented walls and a magnificent roof, and that splendid door, which clearly <laughs> indicates a man of some wealth, <laughs> I decided to come closer. No point asking a pauper. People with nothing give nothing, however willing. Hello there! Is there a porter? Come out and tell the people inside I need help. Hey, you step at the door! Be off with you! Go on, you don't want your sort hanging about at the gate, making a nuisance of yourselves to the master. Are you a Greek? If you are, I'll kill you! There are nothing for that Greek spouting! I'm not here, old woman! There's no need to be rude! Oh, do what you say, by all means, for an abuse! Yeah. I've been shipwrecked. You have an obligation to help me. You can go and tell them all about it at some other house. No, I'm coming in here. I don't know what to think. <laughs> or what to say. Good. 
had to put up with. I have to cope with another disaster, like bringing my wife under arrest from Troy, training her up safe in a cave, and then finding some other woman with exactly the same name, <laughs> living in the palace! <laughs> <laughs> and the old crone said she was born daughter of Zeus. Is it possible that there's some other chap, made of Zeus? <laughs> on the banks of the Nile? <laughs> no, of course it isn't. There's only one Zeus. He lives in heaven. She said Sparta. <laughs> well, where else could that be except for the base of the river Eurotas, with all those famously beautiful reed beds? <laughs> uh, there's only one Tidarius. How do I know? Is there another country called Lacedaemon? Another city called Troy? I don't know what to think about that. The world's a big place. Lots of people in it. Many of them have the same name. <laughs> two countries can be called by the same name. Well, so can two women. Nothing amazing or out of the ordinary, and that is there. And I'm certainly not going to run away from a slave just because she tries to frighten me. <coughs> no one can be so rustic or out of touch as to refuse me food when they hear my name. The towers of Troy are famous everywhere. So am I, who lit them. Menelaos! Not unknown that name. Everyone in the world has heard of me. So I must simply, well, wait here, the master of the house to get back home. Nothing can be more humiliating for people who are broke or starving. You have to go down on your knees and beg, especially when you're a king. Well, like I am. Still, needs must, as they say, there's no motive stronger than necessity. I didn't say that. I mean, it's not. Original. <laughs> but it is profoundly true. 